my beautiful Scorpio, how are we? Welcome back to Lion Gates Heart Tarot. This is your message for the first two weeks of January. Please only take what resonates as usual. Right, my beautiful angel spirit guys, can you let me know what we have for Scorpio? Thanks. <laughs> I, I just literally open my mouth and it's boom. <clears throat> so, what else? Thanks. <laughs> They are funny. Anything else, my beautiful angel spirit guys? Anything else? Anything else? No. Okay. That's lovely. Thank you so much. So we have the Knight of Swords. We have the Emperor Energy. We have the Ace of Wands. Boom. And at the bottom we have the Chariot. Hello. Right, angel spirit guys. May we clarify the Knight of Swords? Thank you. That was very fast. We are going to Karma Waters, Empress Energy. Beautiful, Scorpio. And Emperor Energy, please. May we clarify Emperor Energy? Thank you, Angel Spirit, guys, for being so clear today. You've been wonderful, honestly. Okay, get it? Oh, 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 we're going for it, guys. So lovely, lovely. Got it, got it, got it. Okie dokie. And Ace of Wands, please. Thank you. You're going to sit in your amp energy and your King of Wands energy. Oh, wowzers. And guess what we've got on the bottom? We've got the Knight of Swords again. So it's like rush, 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 rushing around, charging in, showing who you are. Right, my beautiful Scorpios, we have the Knight of Swords, that's clarified with the Six of Swords and the Empress Energy. We have the Emperor, that's clarified with the Nine of Swords, the Queen of Wands, Judgment and Temperance. Okay, so we're being a bit impatient about something as well. Then we have the Ace of Wands and that's clarified with the King of Wands. I just love that little lizard down there, look, it's so cute. And also... The Three of Wands, right. My beautiful, beautiful Scorpio, I shall take a seat and we shall begin. Right, my beautiful Scorpio, the first two weeks of January. So, we have a messenger coming in. You have a message coming to you. This is a bringer of news. Um, it can mean someone charging forward with no fear. Absolutely, because we have it twice here. So this is movement forward. That's what I feel going into January. It's telling you to obviously think things through, but this is leading you to calmer waters. So whatever this message is coming into you, it's leading you to calmer waters moving forward. That the Empress is also clarified with the Knight of Swords here. Now this could be the birth of something new. Absolutely. This could be um, a message a message that comes in to birth something new, which is leading you to calmer waters. Um, it's amazing to see. It's amazing to see. The Empress, just to let you know, I mean, she's the mother energy. She's the mother energy, absolutely. She's the ruler of love. She's the comfort. She's the purity normally within the family. Um, has the best interest of others, absolutely. But this message that's leading you to calmer waters here... You know, it's very, very interesting. And I'm wondering what that is. I'm very excited for you, Scorpio. I know a lot of Scorpios, a heck of a lot of Scorpios. Um, I think most of my best friends are Scorpios, to be quite honest with you. Thinking about it. Yeah, Cancerian and the rest of Scorpios. Yeah, part of Scorpio, daughter Scorpio. <laughs> Loads of Scorpios. So I wonder what that is. I'm intrigued. So then we go to the Emperor Energy. So this talks about high honour, achievement, ambition. Um, it can represent a boss coming into play. So this message could be coming from a boss energy. So this can, it's also mind over matter here. And I very much think it is mind over matter also because we have the Nine of Swords. So something's causing you anxiety in sleepless nights, my beautiful Scorpio. So something in relation to a boss here. But we have the Queen of Wands. Now, the Queen of Wands, she's powerful. She is one of the most powerful queens in the pack. Um, she she inspires others. Whatever this is, she is manifesting something for you here. Or you're manifesting this and you are the Queen of Wands. You're creating your own reality. You know, she's freedom-loving, active, creatively gifted, organised, a lover of nature and inspires others. Then we have the Judgment coming in. Now, the Judgment is on your side. I just want you to know that, my beautiful Scorpio, because it's upright. 
The horn is being blown. It's telling you not to ignore the opportunity that's coming to you. And with it related to the boss energy, this is something at work. This is something at work that's going to happen. There's a message coming in. It's a birth of something new. It's to do with a boss. Something's caused you anxiety and sleepless nights. You're manifesting something here with the Queen of Wands. Judgment's coming into play. They're blowing the horn, but it's related to this. So listen to the opportunities that you are about to be given. So th take this as a warning, okay? Don't miss the opportunities. Listen for that horn. How we can listen for the horn when we're not in touch with certain things is, you know, do a high self meditation. Just have some quiet time where you just close your eyes. You know, you don't even have to be spiritual, but you know, you can just close your eyes and you listen. You listen to nothing because when you then get this knowing in your gut, in your head, that's a form of meditation, but that's clarity. And that's what you're needing with judgment coming in because the horn's going to be blown. It's make a decision, a new potential or opportunity once given should not be ignored. It's success within a career and it's related to the boss energy. Now, the boss energy could still be you, my beautiful Scorpio. This could be you being the boss, you know, and there's going to be opportunity and growth and success in a conclusion. Something that's been causing you sleepless nights and worry. You are manifesting a good outcome. Absolutely, I can see. So if something at work's been lowering your vibration, it's going to go in your favour. OK, what it's telling me here is... Whatever is going on has affected you a bit and you've been a bit impatient with it with the temperance. Um, you know, she's pouring from cup to cup. She's always grounded. Um, you want the process to probably speed up and hurry up. Um, I can see that here, but it is, it's coming into fruition. So don't you worry. This is the first two weeks of January. I can see conclusions already. So a little more patience is needed with the temperance. Okay. Just take a breather. Take a minute. Go with the flow, inner peace, balance balance yourself out. Working on you is very much needed here. Then we're going to the Ace of Wands. Now, the universe is on your side, my beautiful Scorpio. They are giving you a wand here and they're telling you to create your own reality. The Ace of Wands is a gift from the universe. The Ace of Wands also talks about enterprise, new creation, new ideas, new business or relationship is indicated here. And with it being with wand energy, I'm going down the business route, okay? I haven't got any cups here whatsoever. This is to do with career. This is to do with growth. This is to do with self-growth. So the Ace of Wands is coming into play. So listen to the opportunity that's coming to you, whether that be from a boss or you're the boss itself. The message is going to come in really, really fast this opportunity listen 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 Scorpio can't say it enough ace of wands create your own reality this is not right the king of wands he's an entrepreneurial energy okay so this is business he's an entrepreneurial energy the king of wands comes into play he's your master he's your action card a business person kind and generous he's very he's just lovely it's absolutely lovely you've got both counterparts you've got the queen of wands and you've got the king of wands and together that's amazing i know they're in separate lines but they are together within your read so yeah create your own reality there with the king of wands you use your entrepreneurial skills use your business knowledge and your business sense we've got opportunities of creativity coming in with the ace of wands so this is an, a form of expressing yourself this is the three of wands, it's growth, it's creativity. It's just telling me that your ships are about to come in. That's what I'm saying to you. So, you know, within the first two weeks of January, you've got huge movement forward. So if you've been waiting for an answer on something, this message is coming into you. And this could be work related with the boss energy there. Absolutely. Um, new, there could be something new at work as well, because this message is coming into you. It's leading to karma waters. It enables you to sit in your empress energy, which is beautiful. You know, she's love, she's abundance. It could be creating something new. The emperor comes in, that's a boss energy. This boss could be you. Something's been causing you night, sleepless nights and anxiety, but you're manifesting a good outcome here with the queen of wands. Judgment and the horn is going to be blown. Do not ignore the opportunity about to come to you. Temperance is telling me that you need to balance those emotions back out here. Um, be a little bit more patient as well. 
but balance that heart chakra beautifully and ground yourself. And we've got the Ace of Wands, which is a gift from the universe. This is creating your own reality. Sit in your King of Wands energy. Boom, your entrepreneurial energy. Um, opportunities and growth and creativity are coming your way. Now, this is all going to happen really fast. I'm going to say really fast because it's within two weeks because we have the Chariot and we have the Knight of Swords. Both are charging forward. Now, on my major pack, we have the Chariot. So the Chariot is movement it's taking control victory over difficult conquests and i want you to see that because whatever this has been causing you here it's victory over the difficult conquests in which you've been enduring so this is a force of destiny drives you forward it's travel it's motivation good news is coming into you my beautiful scorpio which is amazing and that's just clarified again thank you angel spirits guys for the second clarification good news is coming into you with the knight of swords and it's rushing into you so you can breathe a sigh of relief in january because something wonderful is about to happen for you my beautiful scorpio i'm so blooming happy for you because you've clearly been going through some Something. so whatever that is it's all going to balance out for you so there you go Scorpio your first two weeks of January are blooming busy but they're blooming epic absolutely right angel spirit guys thank you for that beautiful reading thank you for the card that was quick I told you they're on it like a car bonnet today so your so what they're saying is laughter laughter is a wonderful healer it shakes out fear and leaves you feeling happier, clearer and more relaxed. Remember that angels fly because they take themselves lightly. So make light of difficulties and see the funny sides of the situation. It's changing that vibration, Scorpio. Laugh at yourself and with others. When you relax and laugh, your angels drop in new suggestions and ideas which can transform difficulty into delight. There we go, we're switching that vibration. Laughter is a sunshine which dissolves the darkness, so be merry, joyous and fun-filled. The affirmation is, I see humour in everything. When we see the lighter side of life, you know, you sit at a high vibrational state, your angels are then in alignment with you because they're high vibrational, right? Um, so it raises that vibration, especially when we've been going through something difficult, you know, because you are going to calmer water, so you clearly have. Um, it changes that vibration up. When we change our vibration up and we smile upon the earth, okay, and we smile upon existence and we can transmute that negativity into positivity that's when you're in true alignment that's when you're in a high vibrational state that's when you're in abundance for everything so there you go my beautiful Scorpios I'm sending love and light to you um you're going to have a very busy but very epic first couple of weeks of January so please don't forget to like subscribe leave me a little heart I'm trying to grow the channel absolutely I do have darkness attacking the channel because we will because I'm light and this is a light workers channel and and that's what's happening right now because they're going down, kicking on, screaming. And I find it quite amusing, quite honestly. So I'm sending love and light to you. Um, thank you so much for joining me. Have a beautiful couple of weeks. And until next time, lots of love from me, Lauren. Bye bye for now.